Hello and welcome to Motion Time. Today guys, we're gonna talk about the text property. I have a text here on the canvas. So we know that our text has these properties, the transform and blending. And also if we go here on the text, we have the format, which we commonly use from the font up to tracking. I'm gonna talk today about the layout. Text layout is very important, especially if you animate your text using the sequence text behavior. So first, let's talk about the layout method. So currently, I have a type which is when you click on a group, let's delete this one. When you create your text, just like this, our default layout method is type. So if you click on this, we have different options. We have the paragraph, so if you turn on the paragraph, the margin below here will be available from left margin to bottom margin. Okay, next is path. So path, if you select this one, your text can align or adjust using a path. For example, if you select the path, you will see three dots in here which also available here on the control points. So if you select the path, the control points will be available. To adjust this path, you just click each point here available. You can also adjust the handles of each point. You can also add more points here. And you can also move your points. Once you select the path, these path options will be also available. So currently, we have the path shape, which is open spline. This one, it is open. If we click on this one, we have the close. So close is mostly a circle. So you can adjust your text offset using this path offset. Also, you can select this inside path. So it will this text or your text will be inside. Just like this. Then align to path. So what does it do is that your text aligns or the characters align to the path you have selected. So let's check more circle. Almost the same from the close path but the radius we have the radius available. You can also have the path offset what we have talked about earlier same with the properties inside path and align path next is rectangle so this rectangle you can adjust the height which is the y and the width which is the x next is wave so we have this wave you have the amplitude which controls the height so frequency how of how many amplitude you will have in your wave path shape pace like in the amplitude will move damping also and path offset so let's wave path shape also has this start and end option so if we adjust this x and point you can see our path much better So next is geometry. So this geometry, you can add your custom shape source. For example, I'm gonna create or add a shape here. Let's go to the library and shape. Let's select this one, pipe side star. And then let's add some outline so that we can see much better. Select our text again. Here on the source shape, let's put the five side star. So you can see that our text aligned to the five sided star. Let's adjust our five sided star. So you can see that if we use the geometry, you can add or use a custom shape. Let's go back to open spline and delete this five side star. 
let's reset this one and put our text again in the middle so next is scroll so scroll this one i don't usually use this actually the next is also crawl which i usually don't use you can explore by yourself so let's go back again to type then after that on the layout control we have the direction we have the horizontal which is this and vertical so it will turn your text like this so you can do some combination from the layout you can have a path with the vertical direction let's return to default the horizontal so this one text rendering i don't usually use this so i will not explain this one but this is the important thing which i would like to talk about the behavior controls so we have the anchor point character anchor position baseline and position so let's add a sequence text behavior so that we can see the difference I will trim my sequence text and add a simple scale animation. I have a simple sequence text animation which is the scale. Now let's look at our text. So currently our anchor point is on the character. Character of each of this word. And the position is baseline. So baseline means like here on the bottom. If we change the anchor point, because if you click this one, you will be presented with different options. We have the word, line, and all. So let's select all, then baseline, anchor position. So you can see the difference in the animation now. So if you if we return from character and all I haven't changed anything here on the sequence text only here on the layout okay let's look at the word so this is how it looks so anchor position, you can also click this to view more options. So let's say center. So there's a difference also again. So typographic center. Top center. Can you see the difference? So top center, it goes up from here at the top. You see? Can you see that on the top? It scales from the top. So right center. So let's go back to center. Then let's change something here on the sequence text let's change this animate from line so another animation achieve using or changing some part here on the animate and changing the layout of your text or you can explore more or play around with the behavior controls and sequence text at first I didn't know this part like you can change the behavior controls to achieve a different kind of animation for the text but through experience this is really helpful when you want to animate a text so let's delete the sequence text and lastly let's talk about the type one so it's, this is very easy you can keyframe this so end start from here then you can add some keyframes, manual keyframes. That's it. I hope that this will help you when you animate your text in motion. So don't forget that you have this layout available for you. And this behavior controls, very important if you want to achieve some different animation using the sequence text. 
Thank you and see you again.